Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, I'm Anna. You know how much I love flower making tutorials and today I'm coming to you with something super special, super easy and something special for beginners. So if you don't actually make any flowers yet, I'm hoping this tutorial will help you to start your flower making journey because those flowers are super simple to make. They might look a little bit advanced but I promise you they are super simple super easy steps to follow so today I will be sharing with you the uh, ideas how to make one of these flowers and I will be making the larger one uh, it's entirely up to you if you want to make a larger or smaller is entirely your choice whatever works for you I will be working with grey foie mirin foie mirin is a special form for flower making the um, width is uh, 0 0.6 millimeters and when you're using with the iron, it's easy to shape the um, petals for your flowers. I will be working with Flower 13 from Lady E Design. And I already cut my foil mirror. And to make a flower, I will be using two layers. I have already inked my layers using uh, archival ink. You can use a uh, simple kitchen sponges or blending tools to add color to your foil mirror. Uh, whatever you have on hand, whatever the tools you have available next to you, just grab and use it. You don't have to have super advanced tools next to you to make those flowers. So now it's time to shape our petals. I will be working with an iron. Iron is just an ordinary iron. I have a steam off and my temperature is between two and three dots. So it's between cotton and linen. So what I'm doing, I'm placing my each layer on the iron for a couple of seconds and releasing. Then I'm grabbing all the petals together and just crinkle them in my fingers like so. And repeating the same process on both layers. So you can either do it with your fingers like so, or you can roll it with your fingers or even roll it on your hand. Whatever works for you. The choice is yours. I'm giving you the tips, what you can do, how you can actually uh, create your flowers. So the next step, I will be bringing this embossing tool. And I'm just unfolding each layer and gently pressing each petal on the embossing ball. Uh, I'm mainly concentrating in the center of the petals because I want to keep the creases at the end of the petals, what we're just creating, rolling our foil mirror in our fingers. So I'm just repeating the same process on each petal like so. That way our petal will have a nice bumpy shape and also will get lifted up. So our petals um, will have a nice dimension and also our flower will look nice and fluffy. So I'm just repeating the same process on the second layer. So like I said, it's nothing complicated, super easy, super simple steps to follow. Now I'm bringing my little wire and I will be using stamens. Plenty of different stamens you have from Fortin Craft Bar available to purchase. I'm, I'm using this um, the pearly and matte uh, stamens and I'm also gonna use some uh, plastic buds. Uh, you don't have to use them as you can see in my smaller flowers. I didn't use them but for the larger I thought I will bring something different so I'm gonna just uh, use one of them just to show you what you can actually do with them. Okay so I'm just choosing a few stamens so I've chose two pearly one and a four matte one so I'm just even them up like so and then I'm attaching them on my wire. So it's super simple, super easy steps to follow, like I said. Now I'm going directly to my foil mirror and I'm just making the hole in few places and then just join them together. So my hole it will have um, quite, uh, so my hole will be quite spacey so it will be easy for me to pull my statement. Now you can use the poking tool for that. It's your choice, whatever you have on hand, whatever you will be working with. So I'm just pushing my stamens through the first layer and I'm also bringing that little bud 
and I'm placing the statements together like so, okay? So next step, I'm bringing my hot glue gun. Now, I'm placing a bit of a hot glue at the bottom where my statements join in with the foamurin layer. And then I'm just gently pressing my foamurin up. And in the meantime, I'm just separating the statements just to create a nice, even, roundy look for them. So you have the opportunity to work with your statements while your hot glue is still warm. And keep pressing up so your petals will have a nice dimension, will be lifted up so your flower will be nice and fluffy. So now what you need to do, you need to just cut the excess of the stamens pretty much uh, near the uh, when the fire layer is, is actually ending. And before you add glue, just position your layer to the second layer just so your petal will have a nice roundy look. Then you will add quite a fair amount of a glue so your layers will seal nicely and your stamens will not fall apart. And then you can just press from the bottom like so. And your flower is ready. Simple, easy, perfect for beginners. So I hope you enjoy this tutorial. I hope you have some ideas what you can do. Let me just bring all, your, all the flowers for you so you can see it closer. So as you can see on this little one, I only use those pearly and matte stamens so you don't have to work with the a, a plastic boot like I've done and also on my medium flowers I didn't use them. So just to recap I was working with flower 13 from Lady E Design dies. You have five different sizes of dies available in this set so grab yours and create your flowers using maybe my tutorial. That's everything my beautiful friends. Thank you so much for stopping by and if you could share this video with your friends it will be much appreciated so um, everybody could join these tutorials and maybe we can learn from each other. That's it. Thank you so much. Till the next time. Bye for now.